Eww, welcome to Slay the Spayer. Today we're playing the daily challenge for September 11th, 2021. The character at the defect and the modifier star Chimera. You're starting the legacy fusion of all characters. Order, whenever you add a card to your deck, add two additional copies. You can no longer remove cards from your deck at the merchant. And binary card rewards contain only two cards. So with Hoarder, obviously I'll try to go for collector bonuses. Binary might make it a little difficult, but it's, it's still it's worth a try. I see Vorpal. Oh, actually, look at that. Uh, frequent commenters in the top three spaces. So Lord of Paper Towel, 1675. That's really good. Um, also, what is that? 70, no, 83 points, 82 points above Vorpal in second place with 1593, uh, who is then also about, well, exactly 43 points above Aster uh, at 1550. So all three of them, great score i assume the difference this is mainly going to be different collective bonuses which is somewhat luck dependent but still that's a very impressive uh, impressive score from lord of paper towel all right let's also review my score from yesterday as many commenters pointed out uh we're probably here in 11th place at the end of the day as many commenters pointed out i um i should have taken the field of pain i i, I think in retrospect that would have been um a better choice it would have allowed me to to defend more Adster in 40th place and uh, I think I saw chaos here in 1698 anyway all right let's move on to today's run I also have great news all my parts to my new computer have arrived so I will spend all day today and tomorrow building it and setting it up the setup might actually take a while because I do want to you know uh, play around a little bit with overclocking it and uh, install all my favorite programs um, I picked the motherboard that has uh, I think eight uh, hard drive slots and three SSD drive slots and I have a lot of hard drives so I want to get that, that all set up so that might take a while but hopefully I'll be able to spend time over the weekend which will be great all right so there is a three lead path on in the starting in the middle and turning right which will give me potentially an early shot but I probably will avoid that just because I won't have enough gold by then um, and then yeah the three elites with only three question marks total but that's okay all right. Oh, and then I should review the Chimera deck, which is uh, one Eruption, Zap, Survivor, and Bash, one from each class, and then uh, three tri th Strikes and three Defense. Now, the Eruption might be a little difficult because I won't be able to exit Wrath. I also don't have the Slime Boss, so it I actually... Well, the deck is going to grow large very quickly with Hoarder, right? So I don't think it's going to be a big issue. All right, the first floor is actually going to be a little difficult. Let's just do Strike and Zap. Okay. I'll be weakened next turn. I might have to rely on the orbs. Um, actually, do I want to do eruption here? Yeah, why not? I think I should be able to kill. Okay. Uh, I just need uh, one attack card. Yeah, I'm not weakened anymore. Well, I can do two. Good. All right. So, cool headed, go for the ice. Cool headed is a safe choice. Uh, it might make the fight against the gremlin leader, uh, gremlin knob, a little difficult. So, I am not 100% sure if I should go for it at the beginning. I think cool headed might be, uh, sorry, go for the ice might be easier just because it's an attack card. Uh, remove transform and upgrade. I actually think I'll transform the eruption. It's going to be very difficult to use, and um, I might get a potential collector bonus out of whatever I get here, and that's double energy. Ugh. Not that great. So here's the problem with uh, the shop. If I see a Mind Blast, there's a small chance I might not be able to afford it. But you know what? I think I should still do it. Because if I see a Mind Blast, that will basically set me for the rest of the game, right? So let's try it. Nope, no Mind Blast. And I, I guess the, the colorless card in this slot, I think, is usually less than 100 gold. So I could have affo afforded it if I wanted to. Uh, oh, but I can't afford the membership card. That is upsetting. That would have been great. Yeah, okay. Uh, that's a lesson there. Don't go to an early shop. All right, fine. Uh, I guess I can uh, buy cards. Streamline might be good just to have some good attack damage. And aggregate would get, become really good really quickly. So let's take streamline and the, the aggregate. Uh, that's a bummer. That uh, that membership card might have been might have been pretty good. All right. So got the lice here. I can kill one of them with the streamline and then just do strike and double go for the ice. Okay. And then next turn he's dead. Good. Got a blessing of the forge. Uh, well, so Tempest is interesting because I have something like Aggregate. I just have to need to draw them in the right turn. Barrage is not going to be that useful in the beginning. Let's take the Tempest. Now, I'm a little worried because I have a lot of skills. Okay, luckily I did not get the Grumman Knob. So what do I want to wait for here? Um, yeah, nothing really. Maybe, hang on. So if I do Tempest now, I will actually um, evoke my orb and wake him. But I'm going to have trouble defending anyway. So I, I guess I can do, well, I don't know. Let's do, hang on, if I do Defend and Tempest, I'll still wake him. Uh, do I want to wait? L let's wait, let's wait. Okay. Alright, so, yeah, this is much better, because I can do Aggregate, and then Double Energy, 
and then I can do Bash and Tempest. Yeah, that's a much better way to wake him. Although, it's going to be very difficult to perfect this one. Oh, where'd the music go? Oh, that's weird. Okay, no music, I guess. Uh, so, let's see. Yeah, there's no way I can defend, right? Even if I upgrade the Survivor, I would have to draw another... Well, I'd have to draw Go for the S and another Defend. Um, so, in absence of that, I think I'll just deal damage. So, let's just Streamline... Uh, well, you know what? Let's just Survivor try to save a little bit of block. Okay. And then another 18. Yeah, I can... Uh, aggregate is not going to be that useful. Let's do double energy. Well, actually, I don't need double energy, right? Let's just go for the ice, defend, and wait. Okay. Yeah, this one would have been probably very difficult to perfect. Um, let's do... I don't even need aggregate again. Streamline, strike, and that, the orbs are enough to kill. Okay, we got Blood Bell at the start of each combat, heal 2 HP, and the music is back. Great. Uh, regen Potion, which I probably will need. So the question is if I want to go for rare cards, and my deck is going to get so large. Okay, here's the thing. Either my deck is going to get so large that I won't be able to draw them, or I'll be able to get at least two sets of rare cards, which would be giving me extra 50 points from the collector bonuses. This is a very early fish, and I think I'll take it. Let's take it. Unupgraded it's not that great, but um, do I want to upgrade it now? I don't really have anything better to upgrade, to be honest. Yeah, nothing is an 8. Uh, yeah, sure, let's upgrade the Fissions. Yeah, the difference between them being upgraded and unupgraded is pretty big. All right, Jawworm. Uh, let's do Aggregate so I can play everything. No, oh, actually, that was almost enough to kill. I could have killed if I played the Blessing of the Forge, but I don't think I needed to. Okay, Barrage, Overclock. Overclock is pretty good. Let's take that. Okay, here I got Darkstone Peria. Whenever you obtain a curse, increase your max HP by 6. That means uh, I should be set in terms of getting an extra... Wait, uh, to get an extra 30 max HP, I would need to trigger this 5 times, which I'm guaranteed to do if I get the curse modifier, right? Alright, uh, let's do aggregate again. Zap, Fission. And then I was hoping for something better, but this is okay. Uh, let's do go for the ice, and then I'll bash one of you, okay? Now, defending against 18 would be a challenge next turn. Possibly. Hang on, hang on. I think this can work. So let's do overclock. Another. Well, uh, let me do aggregate first. Then another overclock. Uh, that's a lot of double energies. Too bad I don't have anything good to use them with. Wow, look at that. Yeah, I can gain a lot of energy, but I need a tempest. If I drew a tempest here, uh, I don't have any orbs for the fission to be useful either, right? Yeah, that's unfortunate. Uh, at least I can weaken one of them, but yeah. This is the problem. If you have too many uh, energy cards, uh, you also need extra card draw. Although I guess in this case I had three overclocks, right? So there's not. Yeah, there's. A, I would have drawn the tempest next. I just had to get there. All right, that's fine. So I'm not perfecting this one either. Let's do streamline. Go for the ice, um, and then I guess I'll do tempest just to have a, an orb out. Okay. I still have. Okay, one more lead up coming. I don't want to lose too much HP here. Yeah, sadly the aggregate is not going to be that great. Uh, let's do. I think I can... Well, let's see. Hang on. Fission is going to give me nothing super useful. Let's just do Streamline and Survivor. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. And then here, Streamline kills. Uh, let's do Aggregate first, and then Overclock, then Streamline, and then Tempest, I think, should be enough to kill, right? Yep. Good. All right. Got Centennial Puzzle. The first time I lose HP each combat, draw three cards, as well as a Focus Potion. And I think now I'll take a Cool Headed. I should also sort A to Z. Yeah, let's take a cool edit now. Okay. Slaver. Uh, 13 incoming. I could do Tempest and then Fission, right? Uh, let's go for the S first. Then Tempest, then Fission. Okay, I was sort of hoping for defense, but cool edit is fine. Um, double streamline. And then a strike kills. Good. Oh, uh, I almost forgot. I have to lose HP, right? At least I have another fight before the Hexaghost. Okay. I'm sure I'll lose HP. Glacier is pretty good. I, again, am not well prepared for Grimlinod. Luckily, it's Elagavulin. I think here I feel a little better because I could try to get some Frost Orbs out. Let's do Aggregate Cool Headed. Oh, an 8 Energy Tempest seems very tempting. Um, hmm. So, hang on. Uh, this would deal... This would evoke 5 of the 8... No, 6 of the 8 Orbs, right? Because I already have one, so that's going to be 48... And then another nine. Now I'm thinking, maybe instead I'll do the streamlines or the focus potion. I can't decide. All right, let's do let's do the blessing of the forge, then the focus potion, then I'll do two streamlines. 
and then I'll do the Tempest. Okay. I am worried that might not be enough, depending on what I draw here. Okay, Fission is actually great here, especially since it's upgraded. Let's do Overclock, Double Energy, and then Fission. Actually, that should be enough, right? Yeah, I'm not even sure if I needed um, the potions, but I'm glad I used them. We got Mummified Hand. One of you play a power card, round card in your hand, because zero that turn. Okay. And then Boot Sequence would help me in the first turn, but pretty much nothing else. I don't think I'll... Well, should I take that? I mean, right now I have trouble, possibly trouble defending on the first turn, right? It's a little dangerous, but let's take it. It's better than uh, not having any defense. Um, so here I could take my first curse, and I think I will now. Unfortunately, I am healing, but that, that's fine. I'll also get max HP. Good. Oh, that's actually a lot of max HP. All right, fine. Uh, all right, and then here. Okay, good. It's not uh, like a looter or mugger who's going to run away. So I'll take a bunch of damage. I'll be back. I want to get back to 21, right? Because I have blood vial. So I'll just skip ahead until I'm at 21. I'll be right back. All right, I'm down to 20, which is exactly, well, almost exactly where I wanted to be. So that's good. Seek defragment. Defragment is really good. Seek, I think, is better. Let's take the seek. Okay. All right, so here, let's upgrade. Um, do I want to upgrade another fission or a glacier or a seek? Actually, having the seeks upgraded would not be a bad idea. Let's do that. Then I can, like, uh, amplify a buffer or something like that. All right, so, um, again, I don't need the aggregate. Let's do glacier here. Start off with some frost orbs. Okay. So, 12 incoming. Okay, at least I have a seek here. That's good. Uh, let's do overclock first. All right, I can do double energy one and two. Okay, and then if I evoke these, that's not going to block. So I think I have to seek a um, a glacier, right? Uh, let's do streamline. Is there anything better I can seek? No, I think it has to be glacier for defense. Or wait, go for the ice would not be enough either, right? Yeah, fine. Let's do the glacier. Um, and actually, I think I'll do fission, and then just play glacier. Uh, yeah, go for the ice, and then glacier and strike. Okay. Not a bad turn, but could have been better. All right, four incoming. Uh, so since I have the aggregate and enough orbs, I wonder if I should uh, seek a Tempest. Uh, yeah, let me do aggregate, then overclock. Then I think I'm gonna seek a double energy and a Tempest. Okay, and that's gonna be a lot of lightning orbs. Mm -hmm. Okay, now I don't have any um, block though, so I have to be a little careful. Uh, I could seek a glacier again. Uh, sure, sure. Let's do let's do bash then fission, and then depending on what I draw, um, yeah, I think I, I guess I can seek. Hang on, let's see what cool headed gives me. Wait, do I have a glacier? I do, yeah. So another cool headed, and then uh, wait, if I do tempest, they'll just evoke one. I'll be no, that won't be enough. So wait, if I do defend, it's not enough either. Uh, yeah, let's just seek the glacier. Make my life a little easier. Okay. All right, here I am fully defended thanks to my orbs. So let's just do streamline. And do I want to do cool headed? Sure. Okay, go for the ice is nice. All right. Mm -hmm. I'm not getting attacked here. Uh, I think it's probably fine to do fission. Oh, wait. I'm going to take damage with the burns if I do fission. Uh, hang on. No, not not if I do zap first. Yeah, let's do zap first, game block, then do fission. Okay. And then go for the ice, strike, strike, cool-headed. Uh, I guess I'll do glacier again. Okay. I'm a little worried because I still need to deal 50 damage in two, three turns. Um, all right. So here, let's see. Let's do aggregate first and overclock. All right. Streamline is nice. Cool-headed. Uh, all right. I guess boot sequence is enough. Okay. Mm-hmm. Another eight. Uh, so go for the ice stream. Oh, wait, uh, should I do bash streamline first? I am fully defended. Let's do that because I am getting really worried. Still need to deal a good amount of damage. Uh oh. Okay, he is vulnerable. Uh, can I kill here? Yes, I think. Well, actually, I have aggregate. That's not going to be enough. Uh, is it? Hang on, hang on. Um, so if I do aggregate, that gives me two and uh, two energy or one extra energy, right? So then, um, if I do Tempest, that's gonna give evoke one Lightning Orb for eight, and then deal another nine. That is enough. Yeah. Okay. And I guess worst case, I could have also fully defended this way. All right. Good. 
Okay, perfected uh, one. Wait, did I? Yeah, I did perfect one elite and one boss. So that's good. And there is a collector bonus for Seek. Perfect. So I'm halfway there to the proper modifier. And I think I should go for the uh, second curse here, Calling Bell. I can pick up a unique curse and three relics. Yeah, that's definitely a requirement, mostly because now I have the curse modifier, I have a bunch of max HP, and I got three relics. Nuchaku, every time I play 10 attacks, gain extra energy. Ornamental fan, every time I play three attacks in a single turn, gain four block. And unseizing top, whenever you have no cards in hand during your turn, draw a card. That's actually great because with I have a lot of energy relics, or energy cards, so I might be in a position often where I, I uh, get new cards from the unseizing top. All right, uh, only one two elite path, unfortunately, on the left. So if I start there, I'll get one, two, possible early shop, but I might skip that three. And then actually there's a guaranteed late shop. So I'll just go for that one. I don't think going for the shop would make me skip a question mark room, which I don't want to do. Okay, looter and mugger. Let's do glacier boot sequence twice. Okay. Actually, the second boot sequence is unnecessary, but you know, why not? Right. Uh, 20. Uh, let me do fish in here. Okay. Um, yeah, actually, let's seek a Tempest. Uh, where is it? Here, mostly because I have an Aggregate, uh, Overclock. Uh, I could seek another Aggregate and double... Wait, uh, how much? Uh, yeah, Aggregate didn't give me that much, right? Double Energy will be more. All right, let's do Double Energy, seek another Double Energy, and then this is... I might have to speed this up, right? All right, it wasn't actually too bad. Okay. So, uh, Steam Barrier Turbo. Turbo is fine. Okay, I'm a little worried with Turbo. I'll have way too many energy cards and not enough draw cards, but I also have six Seeks, so let's take the Turbo here. Okay. All right, got the birds. Uh, so let's do Cool Headed. Uh, seek. I don't have any AoE, right? I can't fill the defense, so I'm not worried about that. Uh, what? I could seek the Fission. No, not really. Um, uh, Tempest, not really. I do have two energy, so maybe I'll just seek a, a streamline here. Yeah, that wasn't that wasn't very smart. I need maybe an electrodynamics or um, or sweeping beam or something like something that gives me AOE, which I currently don't have. Um, let's do double energy and tempest. Okay. Oh, I did not realize the backline was attacking, so I'm actually going to take some damage here. All right. And then here, let's do go for the ice. Um, I think I'll seek uh, an aggregate, then do double energy, uh, overclock, overclock again, turbo, go for the ice, and then I th I'll seek the uh, tempest. Okay. All right. Okay, beam cell turbo. This would give me a collector bonus. Yeah, let's go for the collector bonus. Uh, beam cell is nice, but not super urgent. Uh, sure, let's keep, take more curses, more max HP, but also get the memory to get the next two curses to obtain, which is fine. I already have enough curses. And okay, perfect. I wait. Did I get a curse in the end? No. Okay, so it only right, right. Because hoarder, whenever you add a card, you add two additional copies. Because of Mori, I did not add any curse, so I only used used one charge of the Mori, which is fine. We also got Mob Bank. Whenever you climb the floor, gain twelve gold. No more going to spend any gold at a shop. Okay, which is unfortunate because I do have a shop coming up in like five or six floors. But let's get there first. I don't think I'll play anything here. Yeah, the problem with that opening hand, I wouldn't mind getting a few storms actually, making this a power build. All right, so here I don't need double energy. Let's do go for the ice defend. Yeah, that's a problem. If I can't, if, uh, if I get attacked on the second turn, the boot sequences are not going to help me. Uh, good thing I have so much max HP, right? Let's do aggregate, glacier overclock, another glacier. Go for the ice again, defend and strike. Come. Mm -hmm. 19. Um, so let me do turbo overclock. Uh, I don't think I'll try to seek for the uh, Tempest, although let's see what I can draw here. Okay, so, okay, now I can seek for Aggregate and then Tempest, because I have the double energy, right? So let's do the Aggregate, then double energy, see what this gives me. Another Aggregate, okay, and then seek for the Tempest. I think that should be enough. Mm -hmm. Perfect. All right, uh, go for the ice reinforced body. This would give me a collector bonus, right? Let's take that. Uh, had trouble clicking on that there. Book of Stabbing. Okay, so opening hand seek seems important. I can, it's upgraded too, so I can pick up two cards. What should those be, though? So I could pick up Aggregate and Tempest for a lot of damage. 
that's I think the best thing to do. How much would that give me actually? Uh, so I'll remove two cards. So it's 56 aggregate. That means would give me 14 energy, 14 extra energy. I guess 13. So that's 16 total. And then Bootsy or the uh, Tempest would deal. Uh, 13 times 8, uh, which is, I mean, it won't kill, but it'll get me fairly close. Let's do that. So, Aggregate and Tempest. I wonder if I should upgrade one of those Aggregates, actually. So, let's do Aggregate and Tempest. Okay, so if I calculate correctly, it would be 8 times 13 plus another 9 from the orbs. Yeah, that seems fine. Okay, but then next turn I have, still have to do, like, 29 damage, which... Uh, okay, unless I draw another Aggregate. Yeah, I can't complain about that. Okay. All right, perfect this one with uh, some luck. We got Whetstone up and pick up upgrade two random attacks. Let's go for the Ice and Strike upgraded. And then here, I don't think I really... Yeah, I would need some orb generation for Consume to be useful. Or uh, I guess orb slot generation, which I don't have. Let's go with the Rebound. And then for the second elite here, I'll go this way. Okay. All right, Shell Parasite and the Fungi Beast. Let's do Overclock. Uh, I don't think I'll rebound anything, so let's play that at the end. And just to rebound you. Okay. Maybe I should re. Well, actually, I can't rebound a boot sequence, right? Because it exhausts. 16. Uh, all right. Let's do turbo, overclock, turbo again, cool headed. Uh, yeah, the Tempest here is not going to be that much damage. So I think instead I'll. Well, before playing the Tempest, I'll do bash, strike, defend, and then Tempest. Okay. Uh, too bad I can't do double energy. All right. Okay, and then here I can do turbo, um, go for the ice, uh, rebound, uh, go for the ice, sure, and then rebound the glacier, and then tempest. Okay. Mm -hmm. I feel like I should be able to kill here. Let's do a strike, go for the ice twice, and then the orbs of, well, yeah, the orbs kill. Okay, Sweeping Beam, Meteor Strike. I don't have enough energy. Well, I don't always have enough energy for Meteor Strike. Let's go with the Sweeping Beam. I was looking for AoE anyway. Okay, Snake Plant. Uh, who is attacking me on the first turn? Let's do Sweeping Beam. All right. I could do Glacier. Or should I... Yeah, no, I think I'll do the Boot Sequences and then just do Tempest. Okay. All right, another 21. I am... Hang on, let's do Cool Headed first. Yeah, uh, let's seek. I can only seek one card, so let's make that a defensive card like Glacier. Okay. Still taking some damage. All right. And then, okay, so upgraded seek here. I think I'll just do the Tempest again, right? I'm probably overthinking this. Uh, yeah, so let's seek the aggregate, play that, and then seek a double energy and uh, Tempest. Okay. Yep, that was pretty easy. We got a strength potion, beam cell stack, discharge. I mean, this is a power, and it'll trigger the mum hand. It's just not a useful power, so let's go with the beam cell here. Okay. Here I got a mercury hourglass at the start of your turn. Deal three damage to all enemies, all right? And then I I will go on the left just to get an extra shop, and I don't really need a rest site at this point. Uh, yeah, let's seek the aggregate again, and then play a tempest. Mm-hmm. Wow, I actually didn't kill anyone. Okay, why? Well, fine, now I killed somebody. But yeah, I would have... I mean, that sort of shows how evenly the damage gets distributed. Uh, I, it doesn't matter what I play here, right? Because the orbs will kill. Okay. We got a speed potion, which I don't think I'll need. Hologram loop. Uh, I think I'll take the hologram. Actually, I'm going to take the speed potion over the uh, regen potion just because there's a small chance I might need a speed potion in like a particular turn. Let's do go for the ice. This was a very unfortunate opener. Okay. So now I'm confused. Uh, well, Glacier is cheap, so that's good. Everything else is expensive, so that's not good. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, um, all right, I can do aggregate, which is great. And then uh, I think I'll seek double energy. Or should I seek another aggregate? So that'll be 16, whereas double energy is going to be only 15. Yeah, let's do aggregate then. Okay. And then let's do sweeping beam and tempest. I haven't calculated if that'll be enough. Actually, I think that's enough, right? Yeah, that's definitely enough. All right. Uh, claw leap. I don't think I'll make a claw deck work. Let's take a leap here. All right. So another shop. And sadly, nothing is half off because I don't have the membership card. 
Uh, I think I'll focus on cards, though. Uh, I don't think... Calipers might be nice at these hour of your turn. Lose 15 block rather than all of your block. That might help perfecting things. Uh, other than that, though, yeah. Wait, did I have enough go for the ice? I thought I did. Yeah, I did. Okay. So let's take those. Let's take skim. That's useful. Sweeping me gives me a collector bonus. Same with leap. Capacitor is fine. And I can't afford a discovery. Do I want a potion? Yeah, maybe a swift potion, actually. Let's take the swift potion over the speed potion. Okay. Might need some emergency card draw for the boss fight. All right, getting attacked here. That's fine. Good thing I have full defense. All right. Actually, I should have played the other card just so I could have triggered the um, unseizing top, right? Uh, let's do go for the ice turbo. Then double energy sweeping beam. Okay, unless I get a curse, I think I can keep this going for a while. Streamline again and then seek. I wonder if I should seek a def defensive card or actually I think a turbo will kill here. Not a turbo, I mean a Tempest. Okay. All right, Focus Potion. Uh, fine, better than Dex Potion, I think. Streamline Leap. I already have enough Leaps. How many Streamlines do I have? I don't have enough Streamlines. Let me just double check. Yeah, I have enough Leaps. So let's take the upgrade Streamlines. Okay. All right, got the Slavers. I am surprisingly not able to defend here. Huh. I have 32 incoming. I only have 30 block with the boot sequences. Let's do aggregate. I wonder if I should seek... Hang on. If I seek the um, Tempest again, that'll be about 160 damage. I think that should be enough to kill at least one of them, right? Let's hope. Uh, where is the Tempest here? Okay. Okay, good. Actually, it kills everybody. Good. Got Incense Burner. Every six turns, gain one intangible, as well as Claw and Darkness. And eh, again, I don't want Claw. Let's go with the Darkness. Okay. I don't think I'll... Well, this guy doesn't attack me in the first turn, right? So I don't think I need to upgrade the um, Boot Sequences. But I do want to upgrade the Seeks. Yeah, I think having them upgraded, being able to draw like an Aggregate and a Tempest together is pretty powerful. Okay, skim in the opening hand is great. Uh, getting what I got here is not that great. Um, I don't think I need any of my potion. Well, it depends on what I draw next turn. So um, I, I guess actually I can hologram a skim. Let's do that. Yeah, because I could draw an aggregate. Yeah, okay, fine. All right, let's do Turbo Glacier. I think that's okay. Okay. All right. 14. Um, so I do have aggregate here and rebound. I could rebound the aggregate, but no, I'd rather... Well, I don't think it's necessary. Let's do aggregate double energy. Then uh, I could rebound the sweeping beam. Why not? Okay, I do need to have to... Uh, I do have to worry about block. Well, fission is good. And then I have a seek. Uh, now, 40 times 8 is uh, 320. That might actually be enough to kill everything. Uh, let's do sweeping beam again. And then, uh, actually, I'm fully defended. All right, yeah, let's seek the Tempest. And this one, I think, will take forever, so I'll speed this up. Okay, look at that. Didn't actually kill, but I am very close. All right. So, uh, Streamline does it. Awesome. Perfected this one. It was actually pretty easy, I have to admit. Well, I got lucky. I probably don't need the Ancient Potion. Multicast versus Echo Form. I, I think Echo Form is probably better, just because Multicast is going to be hard to use. Although, if I have lots of energy, eh, I think it's fine. All right, uh, here I would like extra energy. Can't I cannot take Velvet Choker. Uh, Sacred Bark is always nice, but I think Slaver's Call is better. Doing boss elite combats, gain extra energy at the start of turn. Do I need that, though? Do I ever have energy issues? I think Sacred Bark might be better just because then I can have six cards rather than three cards. Let's take it. Double the effect of the potions. Let's do that. Okay. All right, time meter at the end. Um, yeah, I just have to get lucky with the draw again. So one, two. Oh, there's only one, two elite path on the far right, right? Yeah, so there's an early shop, and then one, two, three. Actually, I don't, yeah, just three question marks total, but I don't really care for question marks, right? Because I already have enough curses, and I still have one or more recharge. Uh, all right, so here, let's do streamline. Yeah, see, if the seek was upgraded, uh, without it being upgraded, oh, actually, I guess I can seek a seek here, and then seek another seek, as well as an aggregate, play the aggregate, and then seek another aggregate, and... Um, and the uh, the Tempest. Yeah, I forgot. Now that I have uh, one of or two of the Seeks upgraded, I can actually get a Seek chain going. If I upgrade all Seeks, I might get the combo modifier fairly easily. Okay. Got a Strength Potion, which I don't think I'll need. I already have enough Leaps. Let's take Charge Batteries. Okay, Spiker here. Um, let's do Go for the Ice. Uh, might as well do Echo Form and then play the Boot Sequences. 
Okay. Mm -hmm. Alright, here I'm intangible. That's nice. Let's do overclock twice and then sweeping beam. And uh, I guess I can do streamline just because I'm intangible. Then let's do turbo, turbo, cool headed. And then rebound. Uh, strike, strike, and just wait. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right, and then here, I I don't think I need to double up the capacitor. I will take damage if I play the streamline the right. Let's double up on the leap, and then I can do streamline. Okay. And then I should be able to kill the backliner fairly easily. Good. All right, sweeping beam, cold snap. I don't have any cold snaps, and I have one copy of sweeping beam, right? So let's take a second set. Yeah, I got potion belt. I'm gonna pick up again two potions, so it's very good with the sacred bark. I think I had the same combinations yesterday. All right, there's some my blast. Yeah, I have to take it, right? Uh, I cannot afford it together with the lawless mirror, but that's okay. Let's take the my blast. Uh, all right, uh, did I have enough cool headeds? I did not. Same with charge battery, right? So let's get both of those, and I think that's good. Yeah, good job. So I think my theory is that if I hadn't gone to that early shop, I would not have been like, I think the shops are set. So I think this has to be the third shop and it's the third shot I visit. So unless I get a fourth shop, I don't think I wouldn't be able to get the mind plus, which I think will, will obviously make my life much easier. Uh, let's see. Dark Shackles, good. Finesse is fine. Good Instincts, Bandage up. Neither of them are good. I'll take the Bandage up here just because it'll give me a collector bonus. And then here, I guess I'll go with the Dark Shackles. Okay. And then going on the right for two more elites. Okay, that also gives me the overkill modifier, which is nice. Let's play a few more cards. I should also definitely upgrade one of the Mind Blast, because currently I can only play one. Once I upgrade one of them, I can at least play two. Um, all right, so here let's do Cool Headed, um, Charge Battery, and then play the Beam Cell, Beam Cell, go for the ice. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right, 13. I am fully defended here. Uh, let me start a Seek Chain again. Uh, anything I can hologram? Uh, oh, actually, I can... Yeah, wait, hang on. So let's Seek the uh, Aggregate and another Seek. I'll play Aggregate. I'll hologram that Aggregate. Or should I hologram a Mind Blast? No, I think my, my plan is slightly better. And then I'll Seek um, a Double Energy and the tempest which was up here right no uh this is sorted by rarity right so tempest would be down here okay so all right let's have some fun here all right that was a lot of fun 312 damage total could have been more right i think i killed too quickly all right core search versus leap i already have enough leaps let's take the core search and then war paint up and pick up up to two random skills that's an overclock and boot sequence upgraded all right here I got the jaw worms. Uh, yeah, too bad I haven't upgraded one of the mind blasts yet. I am intangible. That's nice. Uh, let's kill the stronger one, and then good thing I have uh, the nunchaku, so that's nice. All right. Mm -hmm. And then here, uh, you know what? I'm just gonna make my life easier and seek a hologram, which uh, would be here. And then I'll grab the Mind Blast and then just kill, rather than having to deal with the Tempest again. Got a Weakness Potion, Overclock Barrage. I think I'll, that'll give me a Collector Bonus for Overclock. And then let's upgrade the Mind Blast, which should be down here. Good. Okay. And then here, let's take the Preserved Insect. Enemies in Elite Combats have 25% less HP. That only affects one more Elite, but, you know, better late than never. Actually, I think with the Mind Blast I can kill now. Good. Okay, data disk. I just come with one focus, as well as I don't have any of them. Let's take the Doom Gloom. Okay. Uh, yeah, let's upgrade the other Mind Blast because then I can play three uh, in the final boss fight, which will definitely help kill because that'll be like, yeah, 300, no, oh, 130 something, so almost 400 damage. Uh, well, this one will be a problem though, right? I mean, let's have some fun here. Okay. So dealt 259 damage in the first turn, but the next turns might be challenging. Uh, wait, can I kill? Hang on, let's do overclock. Then I'll seek a uh, upgraded seek and an aggregate. Play the aggregate, hologram the aggregate. Play that again, hologram and aggregate again. Uh, here. And then I'll seek a double energy and um, whatchamacallit the Tempest, and 168. Okay, I'll be right back.
Okay, that killed. That was that was a lot of fun and also was very loud. All right, cold snap barrage. I think that's like the third time I'm getting offered barrage. I just want to make sure I never picked it up. Yeah, I didn't. Uh, let's take the cold snap. Still better than barrage. All right, a writhing mass. I, I guess I don't even care. Yeah, wait, I can just kill here. I could take a curse, but I wouldn't get it, right? We got a strength potion or another strength potion, I should say. Scraping compile driver. I'll take the compile driver for a little bit of card draw. Uh, yeah, I was sort of hoping to have the Nunchak already. It doesn't matter, though, because I'll have the Mind Plus upgrader, right? So let's do Mind Plus 1, Mind Plus 2, and then Mind Plus 3. Fine. All right, so Recursion Rebound. I think I needed one more set of rebounds. And then let's upgrade the last Mind Blast. I wonder if I should maybe upgrade the Seek first. But wait, where's the Mind Blast? It should be down here, right? No, I think I think having the Mind Blast, that should be... Well, I think that should be enough to kill, right? Oh, no, it's not. Uh, wait, hang on. I have 135, which is 270 and 405. Well, I'm not getting attacked here either. All right, let's drink the Strength Potions, the Focus Potion, and then do Mind Blast 1, 2, and 3. And uh, I just need to draw something to deal 16, not even 16, right? Well, plus the block. Uh, so let's do Turbo, Rebound, the Sweeping Beam, and then streamline. Awesome. 36 minutes. All right, that was a lot of fun with Tempest there, I have to admit. 5098. Okay, I feel like I saw somebody having that exam same score, right? So I perfected. I only missed two elites on Act 1. After Act 2, I think it, uh, everything fell into place. I got curses stuffed. Uh, 11 collector bonuses. I think that helped with my score. I did get overkill. I did not get the combo modifier. So here's my question. If I had upgraded all the seeks... Um, so each seek would have given me two extra cards so that I think if I upgraded at least a few seeks or if I played some seeks in succession that would have been at least six seven eight cards yeah getting to 20 might have been difficult but definitely possible especially with aggregate yeah I guess I could aggregate or seek an aggregate and skim there I feel like there are definitely turns where I could have just done uh, like specifically just tried to get the combo modifier so another 25 would have been doable but other than that uh, perfecting the first two elites uh, might have been possible but hard um, I think I liked out both with sometimes getting aggregates and tempest or seeks in the right turn and other times uh, or uh, towards the end just having the mind blast and now I should say here's the question should I have gone for the popper modifier um, so on one hand it would have made the mind plus a little weaker on the other hand I would have gained another 50 points but I would have lost the uh, 25 I got from the seeks and the seeks did help me a lot so net i lost 25 points but i think in the end they did help me quite a bit so yeah 1598 that's that's a pretty good score let's see where we stand in the rankings okay so i am fifth oh look at that i am uh five points above warpal that's a very weird number to be away from somebody but then lord of paper tile still has 75 points on top of that uh, I'm just going to assume the top score is a cheater. 2,700 seems unreasonable. Uh, so let me think. So 75 points more. Going for Popper uh, would have been possible while difficult. Um, definitely possible. Uh, what else? I played fast. Um, perf getting lucky with the first two elites. Actually, I think I, I think at the beginning I said it's probably going to come down to collective bonuses. And I think that's what it is. Let me in the comments if that was what it was. I had 11 collective bonuses. I'm curious if um, Lord of Paper Towel or Vorpal or Aster got a different number, either higher or lower. Um, and I also wonder if having the membership card made a big difference. Because I don't think I had to leave things at a shop because I couldn't afford them. Uh, cards at least. But, um, but I could be wrong. So anyway, thanks for watching. Bye.